welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit of like an organization video because I know you guys like these types and I thought it'd be really fun because I always get asked questions about the nursery and like how I keep it organized and how it like looks so cute um, while it's like organized. And I wanna show you guys some like tips and stuff because I don't know why I feel like I like sometimes like totally nerd out on like organization. Like it's therapeutic for me, it's not for everyone. And I'm not saying that your room has to be like this or that, but like if this is your vibe, keep watching and I'll give you guys some tips of what I like to do. So this is a quick overview of the nursery. This is like the diaper station. This is her crib and everything. She has her sleep sack there, ignore that. And then I do have these pictures that need to be hung up and they are so stinking cute. I got them from, I think it's called Small Wood Homes. Also you could do like mixed tiles, but these are like really, really nice. Like I just really like how these turned out. This is her three month picture and then that's one of me, her and Josh. Um, so I gotta hang these up. And by me, I mean, I'm gonna have Josh hang those up on the wall, so I'm gonna do them three right across there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much a little overview of the nursery. Oh, and then we have the closet. So this is a big part of the organization. I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. And also how I did it for pretty cheap because your girl like didn't wanna spend a ton of money on like organizing, but I knew that all this stuff, like the closet was probably gonna be open most of the time, so I wanted it to look cute. But more important than just being cute, it has to be functional. If something's not functional, then there's no point in it because like realistically, when you have a baby, you're in a rush, you're on time crunch and like life gets chaotic. So it's like a system that works for me and that keeps everything organized, but that's also not too much to upkeep, if that makes sense. Okay, so up here, I wanna show you guys, this is probably my favorite thing ever. So I got this basket from Marshalls and you can get these for about $10. And this is the cutest thing ever because it looks aesthetic like out and then it's cute and it's super convenient to have the diapers here so I have all the diapers here and then I just keep one pack of wipes tucked in there so I use my diapers changing station and then right next to it I have a little trash can but I got a cute one from Marshall's this one I believe was only like $12 and it goes with the room it was super cute the reason it's so tiny is because I feel like if I were to get a bigger trash can, like it might even look better in this space. But the problem is, is I wanted to basically force myself so anytime that that gets full of diapers, it's time to change it. So that way it's like diapers aren't sitting there too long. It's like they're getting out of the room, out of the house. So that way it like forces me to change it more. Now some people might see, feel like that's like too hard, but honestly like it takes like about like two, three days to fill it. So it's like they'll be there, but they're not gonna be there too long. So that's why I actually really like the smaller trash can because it like it's like, okay, it's full, it's time to go change it real quick. And I don't have one of those, I don't know what they're called, like poopery or poop things where it's like basically like shoves the poop down um, with the diaper so it like compresses it. Personally, I like, this is what I like to do. I have dog bags, so these are dog poop bags that I got off Amazon and you get a ton of them. And I will only, I'll put the diaper, I'll like change her, put the diaper in one of these and then I'll tie it up and put it in the trash. And I just don't like, I don't know why I don't like when things smell and sometimes I feel like if I didn't do this way, the other way it might smell to me. I'm not saying because I know a lot of people do um, use that. This to me just seemed like easier. I was like, I was like sealing up the bag and then I'm getting rid of it after like two days and it hasn't smelled. So this has really worked for me. So I really like it. So if you guys do want to try this method, literally just Amazon. I got pink bags because I thought they were cute. Um, so I got those poop bags and then I tie it up and then I put them in there and then sometimes too like if she went pee I'll put the pee diaper in the bag and I'll leave the bag here because it won't smell and then I'll wait till she poops and then I'll put two diapers in so that way I'm not wasting as many bags as well um, and then in here this is how I have it organized so I have her um, bags for her diapers here and I also carry these in the diaper bag as well it's really convenient when you're out and about because leaving a poopy diaper at people's house is like not ideal so you want to like bag it up um, and then I have some burp cloths right here because a lot of times I'll be changing her she'll spit up and then I have burp bags right here and then this is like some miscellaneous stuff so like um, these for her bibs to attach to her her nail filer um, if I have to get boogers out extra pacifier her comb for after her bath and then right here is just her lotion diaper rash cream and then this is a disinfectant wipe so I'll like wipe this down and then I'll take this and wipe down her toys but I just have these organ organization things from these ones are from Amazon and then you can get a ton from Marshall's but I think having little organization um, bins makes it so much easier and then right here these are only the clothes that she's wearing currently so like these are all the clothes that will fit her there are no clothes that are too big or too small um, I just think it makes it so much easier when you have all the clothes that they can wear literally right here which leads me to the next thing all her clothes that don't fit her anymore the ones that I want to keep if I have another baby 
baby that's a girl i have this um extra clothes bin up right here i got these at marshall's these bins are super cute um they were super inexpensive too um and then i just labeled them so i put extra clothes right here and she's probably gonna need another bin i might turn another bin into more extra clothes um so i basically just donate any clothes to my friends that are having babies that i don't want anymore for the next baby and then the ones that i really really love um i'll keep and then um for the next baby i'll put in storage so basically that's in storage for now and then once i gets too full i might put in a bigger bin and put it like up in the attic or something but so basically that's what i do if once she can't fit in anything i get it out of the room so it's just less stuff it's less clutter okay so this is how i have it organized these little things are from amazon i believe they're underwear drawers i can try and find everything and link it for you guys but these are perfect these ones are a little too small unless they were like t-shirt onesies but i have those for like summer to put in so basically i roll them up and put them in there um these are her onesies her outfits i did have it a little more organized to where it was like just her onesies just her outfits but you know time gets quick and you, you know, i don't know you do, things get unorganized so this is like an organization but also realistic unorganization as well um so these are like some of her sleepers and then everything fits her still there and then i have more stuff down here um these are just some more clothes like obviously this should be like folded but you know it's realistic here so these are some of her outfits and that's pretty much it honestly she doesn't have that many clothes like she does have a good amount of clothes, but I also don't buy that much for her because I know that um, she's just gonna like go through it so quick. And there honestly has been outfits, even like newborn outfits that I didn't even get a chance to put her in it yet because you find an outfit you like and you kind of keep using it. So um, my goal is obviously just to not overbuy because I feel like a lot of times people are just overbuying things. But these are her other outfits. So up here I have her hung outfits that are like not really like onesies, but more like sweaters and like jackets and things like that. I did buy these things off of Amazon to basically organize like, actually I got these off Etsy. So basically to separate the newborn to zero to three months, to three to six, but I don't really use them. And the reason I don't really use them anymore is because now I just wanna have her clothes that I'm using right here. Like I don't wanna have to like go through and try and find what size she is. I just want all the clothes that she can wear right here available. So this is all kind of like her three to six months or clothes that I think will fit her now. And then up on the other side of the closet, I have clothes that are too big for her that will move over here when she's done with these clothes. But I do think these are really cute. They were on Etsy. And then I just have these mini hangers. I got them from Marshalls, which I really like. So these are some of her like, you know, like sweaters and clothes like that. And then this is like the favorite thing or my favorite thing that I did. I basically got this cart. It looks like this. Um, I got this from Marshalls or Home Goods as well. And it almost, I don't even know, it looks like a craft cart. And it was like the perfect pink color. And then I bought these baskets and that like fit in it really good. And I didn't just buy random baskets. I literally took this cart over to that section just to make sure that like all the baskets would fit perfectly. So that way I wasn't getting home and then having to make returns and stuff like that. So basically how I use this basket system is really cool. So I have in here, I have all her bows. So these are just like her little bows. I really wanted to put just the bows with like, like these type of bows because I have these type of bows and then I have more of these type of bows which that should be in that bin. So the bigger bows and hats I have in here since she has like some winter hats and things like that. This one is so cute. I got it off Amazon. Um, and then these are like the bigger bows. So bigger bows and hats are in here. And then down here we have like the smaller bows. Um, so I organized those. And then right here is the bibs. So a lot of like spit up or um, burp rag bibs, um, just cause she does spit up a lot. I have those in there. So that's how I organize those ones. And then right here I have a little sock drawer. Basically this is just like all her socks. Um, so I can grab her socks. And and then right here is kind of like shoes and the miscellaneous so i have like some clips for um to clip her clothes right here but honestly i just put some shoes but she has so many shoes that i even have another shoe bin down here so this i got off of like i think it's called like world market or something it was just online um it didn't really match too well with the room so i kind of put it in the closet but basically down here i have just some more of her shoes the ones that she's honestly can't fit into yet a lot of these are like hand-me-downs from her friend so i have some shoes in here that are hand-me-downs these are actually really cute these are her friend's shoes remy that i actually bought remy and then now she handed them down so that's super cute and then okay and then up here i have her books um, she has so many different books, so I just put all her books in there and then she even had more books that didn't fit So I added them up here. I got this from Marshall's as well And then how I organize these ones is I have a little memory box 
So anything that like from the hospital or certain little things that like I don't want out in her room but I think that she'll want later in life I put in the memory box. And then I had some overstock of wipes so I just kept them in here. And then these were the extra clothes. And then I don't really have much in these. So that's, I can figure out what to do with later but I thought it just looked cute. Okay, and then this is the other side of the closet. These are clothes that don't fit her yet. These are more like six to nine months or like almost like like nine to 12. So, oh, and then these are just her sleep sacks. So I just keep I hang her sleep sacks up here. So when she's done with the other one or it's dirty, then I'll come grab it here. So I do use the sleep sacks. I just keep them here. And then these are the Dreamland ones. I really like both those companies. Um, and then these are just, you know, some clothes that don't fit. So I keep those over there. And then in here, I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do 100%. Like right here, these are some just extra blankets that I have. This is a gift pile. So basically um, for like my friends and like when I have baby showers and things, basically stuff that I get sent that I don't end up using, um, I put in here so I can like gift it to people or just like donate it. And then normally in this drawer, I have like a ton of extra diapers, but I have to restock that drawer. So I will just keep even more diaper overflow in there. And then that's like her storage, like that's her bag if we go on trips, that's a um, high chair which obviously she doesn't need yet, um, and yeah. And then the shoes she can wear, like right now I just keep on the shelf, actually these crib shoes she can't wear anymore because they're too small, but she has these ones she got for Christmas, super super cute. Okay, and then over here, I just have a carrier that I put in this basket, so if I ever need to grab her for a carrier. And then I like to keep a jar of binkies out just in case um, she needs one, because I swear, this was full, like not long ago. Like you lose these things so fast. So I just keep a jar of binkies right there, always on hand. And then this is her sleep sack, just because it's convenient just to leave it right on her crib and then as we put her down. I also have a drawer, which I didn't show you guys, I forgot to, for all of her blankets. I just have them like folded and organized. These are some of her like swaddles, things like that. And then these are some like summer blankets. So I keep all her blankets tucked away. And I recently just gave a ton to my friend because I had way too many. Um, and then these, this is just like summer stuff, which, oh, and then this is, I need to put this in like an overstock. This is winter, so it's like we're done using. Um, this is just some summer stuff, which we will get when um, it's time to swim. So I just put all her bikinis in there and swimsuits, and then these are all her like sheets, like crib sheets, bassinet sheets, you name it. Okay, and lastly, I wanna show you guys the bathroom organization. So the bathroom, I really don't need too much stuff. I honestly, what I've realized when you have a baby is you don't need as much stuff as like all those like TikToks and things of like people are like, buy this for your registry, buy this. I actually feel like you just need to buy things as they reach that stage in their life because um, I don't know, like I feel like what works for one baby doesn't always work for the next. So it's almost like better to maybe not have everything you don't 100% need and then buy it as your baby needs it because maybe your baby doesn't need it. So that's just something I've learned. Also, really random, if you guys like my hoodie, it's actually from JD Fit. It's a cropped one and we do have full length as well. And then we are gonna have matching joggers. These are um, the other collection, which I think they look really good with too. But I'm so excited about this drop. This color is just so cute. And there's four different colors. It is dropping really soon so probably about in a week and a half and i'm very very excited about it so if you guys are curious about it got the logo right there and then this one has the patch logo as well right there there's a quick overview of the bathroom i think it looks super cute um in here i honestly don't have much because i do have all this like piping down here so it's not like you can fit too much down here so right here these are a lot of her like bath rags i basically use these to give her baths um i really like these my neighbor got them from vietnam and i thought they're she said that she used them on her babies and they were amazing and she got them and brought them back and i love these and then these are just some bath towels i have folded up because we do i have i give her a bath every single day but I don't use soap every single day, but it is part of her like nighttime routine to get a bath. So let me know if you guys wanna see that. I might do that on this channel or JD Vlogs. We might do like a our nighttime routine because now she's not on like a strict, strict schedule, but she is more on like a nighttime routine. Like that's pretty like, not strict, but like, it's pretty like dialed in like every night around the same time we'll do we'll give her a bath and like we'll do our whole nighttime routine so that's pretty fun and i feel like she's been sleeping so good because she is sleeping in her crib now um so if you guys want to see that maybe we'll make a video like that and then this is how we have the bath set up we just have um her um bath like i don't know what you would call this like just the little baby bath thing and then i have like some of her toys and she really only has one toy and then like her um hair scrubber and then this all in like a little basket and just I have the soap right there. Cause like I said, we really don't need too much. 
But that's pretty much how I keep this room organized. I would say the biggest tip, like I said, is to not have clothes that they're not wearing in here or like tuck them away in a drawer or something. So like those empty drawers, um, I could put like other clothes. I do have clothes that she can't fit into yet in another drawer in my room just because I have this like empty dresser. So I put them in there. Um, they're just clothes that won't fit her. And then every single month um, I go back in there and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, okay, wait, she can wear this now. She can wear this now. And then I'll like do like a closet clean out like once a month, basically like change out the clothes that don't fit her anymore and then add the new clothes that do fit her just because I swear they grow so fast so it's like you had to keep changing everything so freaking quick like when I put those clothes in that drawer I was like oh I probably won't be here for so long these are so big and literally the other day I was like wait she can wear half these clothes also you guys this is my favorite thing ever it was from Etsy but it says her name on it and it's just like so stinking cute it's like boucle and then I have her hat style machine which I gotta move because it's, I mean, it's sturdy here, but I need like a little dresser right here. I mean, she can't reach it or anything. And also I don't have these in the bed while she sleeps because I know a lot of people are always are worried about that. And now I see why, because the other day I was like, oh, I don't even think it'd be that bad if they were in there. Uh, I took them out anyway. But then I literally look over and she's like upside down, like literally like turned her entire body in the crib. Um, and then I asked my sister, I was like, is that normal? Like she's like moving all over in the crib. And she's like, yeah, she's just exploring the crib. And she's like, all my babies did that. I'm like, okay, good. Cause I literally was like, wait, why is she like sideways in the crib? Also you guys, this little bear outfit is so freaking cute and warm so when we go on walks and it's really cold and then if we put a little hat on her it's the cutest thing ever i got this on amazon so if you want to find this this is the cutest thing in the world and then old navy i swear they have some of the cutest stinking clothes ever this is really cute this isn't from old navy but i really like that sweater and then oh wait i just got these from old navy these little overalls they're so cute i can't wait to wear these um i can't wait to wear these oh my god if i wore these i can't wait to put her in those also, I've been working on Sky Scrapbook for the three and four month recap and I wanna show you guys a little bit of it because I always show you guys. Um, so many people ask for me to do a video about it. Maybe I will, I don't know if you guys all wanna see that, but I wanna show you just the little recap because I think it is so cute. So this is the three to four month. I just have all of the pictures from our family photo shoot. This is a picture of me and Sky on her four month picture. And then we went to Arizona. Oh, we live in Arizona, but from Arizona to Hawaii. And then I have some pictures of our Hawaii trip. <laughs> She's over there playing with Josh. <laughs> sure, ah! And then, wait, this is so cute. She's, it's like one of her pictures of her trying to get the teething ball. And then this is her in her new chair. And then this is her three month, and then that's her four month picture. And then this is Christmas, and I still had to add a little bit more here, but that's a little breakdown of it. I thought it looked really cute. And then also in her room, we have like this little play area for her. This is from, I think an Australian company called like Jumbo. Jumbaru or something like that. It's super cute. Um, and that's like more like aesthetic. And then this one is from Love Everly. I think it's called Love, Love Everly. But this is a really good, it's a really good brand for kids to like learn and different development things. And then we have the other part of it in the living room because she plays with that a lot. But it has all these colors and then it has like these um, for when they're younger, which is really good. And then here's where I have her laundry basket, which I swear, she goes through so much laundry, but I just try and stay on top of it. Um, that way it doesn't get too much just because honestly, like I said, she doesn't have too many like onesies or things. So like once I start getting like less options, I will start to, I'm like, okay, time to do laundry because this girl needs some more clothes. But yeah, pretty much everything's from Home Goods. Got these from Home Goods. Got these from Home Goods. That from Home Goods. <laughs> that all from Home Goods. Um, this is from IKEA. This dresser, and I really, really love this dresser. This is from West Elm. The crib is from West Elm, and so is that chair. This chair looks cute, um, but honestly, it's not the best nursing chair. It's not bad, it's just not the comfiest chair. Like I've seen other nursing chairs where I'm just like, okay, I think they're like super, super comfy. Um, and I would definitely go for like a comfier chair. Um, but I do think it looks really cute in the room. So I also still do like it. And honestly, like in the middle of the night when I'm breastfeeding anyway, I'm really not that comfy because <laughs> I'm tired. So um, it's not that bad. And honestly now um, she is kind of sleeping through the night. I'll wake her up or not wake her up. She'll wake me up at about like 5.30 to 6-ish six, six and then I'll feed her um, and then yeah, she'll go back to bed. So it hasn't been too bad, but I always will come in here in the middle of the night. This is the uh, monitor that I have. It's the mom cozy one. I love this one because it doesn't connect to Wi-Fi, so no one can hack it. It's really nice. And um, honestly, I really like it too. 
because you can zoom in and then you can see like I'm so weird like I mean I'm sure every single mom does this but I'll zoom in like three times to just make sure her like um, little chest is like moving up and down just because like when you're in a completely different room from them and you get a little paranoid so that's really nice to be able to zoom in and then be like okay my baby's okay like it's all gonna be good okay really quick I just gotta show you guys look how cute her little outfit is her little overalls are you just so cute are you just so cute Miss Sky Ray <laughs> so cute. Whoa, is that the camera? I love you. Is your hand yummy? Are you teething? Say hey guys, I'm teething. That's bit, pretty much everything I have for this room and how I organize it. If you guys have any questions, um, comment down below. Obviously, I'm not an expert or anything like that. That's just how I like to keep the room organized. Um, just because we do spend a lot of time in here and it just makes me happy when it looks cute. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.